Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, comparing absolute values. So um, uh, we learned in the last lesson that absolute values is distance uh, from zero on a number line. So we're going to be doing more of that, except we're talking about uh, here, uh, like the depth in deep sea diving or the or or how much money you owe would be a, a debt. And so so your debt would be the absolute value of how much money you owe. And then if you're diving down below to a negative elevation, um, then your your depth P, uh, PTH uh, is going to be the absolute value of that. Anyways, uh, there's our question for our teachers. How can we interpret and com uh, interpret comparisons involving absolute values? And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. All right, here we go. So Brooklyn is taking a one-day scuba diving class. Completion of the class will allow her to explore the ocean at elevations of less than negative 25 feet. So we'll use absolute value to describe the depths which Brooklyn will be able to dive after taking the class. Okay, so so um, uh, after the class, she's going to be able to uh, go uh, to elevations less than negative 25 feet. Okay, so so um, negative 25 feet, the depth would be the absolute value of that. All right, let's go ahead and, and graph that elevation, negative 25 feet on the number line. Okay, so that's going to be right. So these are going by tens. Here's zero. So here's negative 10, negative 20, here's negative 30. So we'll graph that right there at negative 25, okay? And then answer some questions here. So let's uh, list uh, three elevations that's less than negative 25 feet and then graph these uh, on, the, on the elevation, or graph these elevations also, okay? So less than negative 25 feet, okay? So that means um, um, uh, less than is going to be down lower on this um, uh, number line right here. So negative, these are just some possible solutions, you guys. So we could have picked anything. Could have picked negative 100. Uh, but anyways, negative 30, negative 34, and negative 40 are examples. And then when we graph those, okay, so here's negative 30. Negative 35 would be right there. So negative 34 is just a little bit up, and then negative 40 right there. Okay. And then uh, so elevations uh, less than negative 25 uh, feet are found. Okay, so these are, are found below um, the negative 25 feet right there. Okay. So because depths represent a distance below sea level, it's never negative. So in this situation, negative 25, uh, the absolute value, remember these remember, uh, um, say absolute value, the absolute value of negative 25 uh, represents a depth of how many feet? Well, a depth of 25 feet, okay? So, so we're going to talk about uh, depth being the absolute value of a negative elevation right there, okay? I hope that makes sense, okay? So uh, write each elevation as a depth, okay? So, so it would be the absolute value of negative 30, which would be a positive 30, the absolute value of negative 34, and finally the absolute value of negative 40. So an elevation of less than um, the absolute value of negative 25 feet is a depth uh, that's actually greater than 25 feet. Okay, so so you know here's the sea level right here. So the depth is uh, 25 feet right there, but the elevation is negative 25. Okay, so depth is a an absolute value answer of of an elevation. Okay, so Brooklyn will be able to dive to depths that are going to be um, uh, greater than uh, the 25 feet after taking this class, okay? All right, <clears throat> so uh, let's compare negative uh, 185 foot elevation and 185 foot depth and explain our reasoning. Well, okay, so both have the same absolute value, so a diver at an elevation of negative 185 feet is also at a depth of 185 feet, okay? So when you're talking about depth answers, it's the, it's the absolute value of your elevation answers right there, okay? All right, so here we go. Um, uh, Kai uh, has a, an account for groceries at Meeks Bay. Her account balance has always been greater than negative $16. Okay, so so uh, this is where she owes money, okay? So negative $16. So use absolute value to describe uh, Kai's account balance as a debt, okay? So not depth, but depth, debt this time. They sound the same. So let's go ahead and graph uh, the balance of negative $16 on the number line. Okay, so these are going, looks like by two. So here's zero, here's negative two, negative four. So negative 16, we'll go ahead and graph right right there, okay? And let's answer some questions. List three account balances that are greater than negative $16, okay? Greater than negative $16, and then we'll graph these accounts. Are uh, On a number line, when we're talking about greater than, 
uh, then it's going to be answers to the right on a number line, okay? So, th so those are just some possible solutions right there. And then when we graph those, there they are, negative 12, negative 8, and 0. Can you see that greater than is to the right right there? Okay, so balances greater than negative 16 are found to the right of negative $16 right there, okay? So I just slid that up so we can do step three. So express an account balance of negative $16 as a debt. Okay, so so debt is a is an absolute value of uh, of, of negative uh, money owed right here. So the absolute value of negative $16 means uh, that Kai owes uh, $16 right there. Okay, so debt would be the absolute value. It's a positive answer. Okay, all right. So let's complete the table. Okay, so. So negative $15 would be a debt of $15 right there. So balance of negative $14, which means uh, there would be a debt of uh, $14, okay? And so what would give us a debt of $13? Well, that would be a balance uh, that uh, she or he owes um, negative $13 right there, okay? All right, easy enough. So each debt in the table uh, is less than the $16 right there, okay? Because uh, less than means um, uh, it's to the right. So so would, would you rather owe $15 or $13? I would rather owe $13. So it's it's less of a debt right there when you uh, when you when you owe money, okay? So Brooklyn's account balance is always greater than negative $16, so her debt on the account is always less than uh, the $16. Remember, debt is an absolute value answer. All right, so the temperature at the South Pole was negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit at noon. Explain how we can use the absolute value to express a temperature of negative 45 degrees. All right, well, negative 45, the absolute value of negative 45 is equal to 45. So a temperature of negative 45 degrees just means we are 45 degrees below zero, okay? It's kind of tongue twisters right there. So just um, when you're talking about below zero, then that's going to be the absolute value of a negative temperature right there, okay? All right, so explain how we can describe a depth of an absolute value, okay? Well, a debt can always be described as the absolute value of a negative account balance. And list three numbers that are greater than negative, the absolute value of negative 36. Okay, well, the absolute value of negative 36 is, is positive 36. So list three numbers that are greater than that and, de and describe how we determine that. Okay, uh, whoops, I misspelled determined, didn't I? Let me change that right there. Okay, let's take out that D. I thought it looked kind of awkward there. Okay, so um, uh, some possible answers are, are 38 or 40 or 45, and the reason why is um, uh, negative 36 is 36 units away from zero. So the absolute value of negative 36 is just 36. So numbers that are greater than 36 are going to be greater than this right here. So numbers that are greater than the absolute value of negative 36, we could have said the absolute value of negative 38 because that's 38 also. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of a tricky lesson, and take care.